Guys, I can't believe Inquisitor Master hates FGTV for this. This is crazy. Welcome back to Roblox I Spy. Let's get into the video. Hate videos. The public spewing of hate, especially on videos that are meant to be primarily for children, does not seem very noble. Especially when you know for a fact that people will be looking up to your actions and the things you do. Not a lot of people actually think about all that when they start a fight with their counterparts, but no one can deny how messy the situation gets. Both parties have started making hate videos towards one another and are constantly looking for ways to make the other person lose everything they have. This does not send a good message to the younger audience. When everyone could live out in peace and harmony, why would you even take up arguments with each other? And it is not like this is the only fight that is going on in the Roblox gaming community right now. If it was the only fight, we could have easily dismissed it by saying that this might be an exception, but the reality is quite the opposite of that. This is not the first YouTuber fight. You see people like Flamingo and Dennis fighting with Gaming with Kev on Twitter and Instagram. Now there happens to be a lot of merit in that cause too, since Gaming with Kev stole the thumbnail from Dennis's video and has still not apologized for doing that. The amount of hate in the air is still very uncomfortable. With that, people are talking about a potential fight between the FGTV team and Inquisitor Master's squad. Now there is apparently no cause for a confrontation right now. It is generally being said that they do not like each other and thus would never want to collaborate or do anything of the sort. Everyone wants it to stop. The messy situation of fights and controversies is becoming very toxic and no one likes that these two popular creators are on bad terms. While none of them has explained the reason behind this hatred, but it seems that things have gone personal. The fans want to know what's going on, who was wrong, and how we can be friends again. How did this happen? Before we get completely off the track and forget about the topic at hand, let's talk about what really happened between FGTV and Inquisitor Master. Now these YouTubers are pretty successful and famous on their own, and both of them have a certain level of expertise on their own. FGTV and Inquisitor Master do not seem to be connected in any major way, apparently, other than this controversy. So seeing them fight like this really makes us question all that's going on right now. The fight for popularity. Inquisitor Master is a name hidden by nobody. She has a lot of reasons to stand out in the Roblox YouTubing community. One of the most major reasons is the fact that she is very pretty. That is something she actually sells off about herself in her YouTube bio. Other than that, she has a unique way of making videos which makes her stand out from the rest of the YouTubers, and that's the people who follow her have a special bond with her too. FGTV, on the other hand, has got his own specialties that he shares with no one else. The 17.6 million subscriber count on his YouTube channel completely explains how famous of a YouTuber he is. His work is loved and watched by millions on a daily basis, so for him to be involved in some major controversy is some major deal. These both are famous YouTubers, but maybe they are hungry for more fame. Donation Fraud The real quarrel between FGTV and Inquisitor Master started when Inquisitor Master accused him of misusing the donations money being sent over to him. She accused him of scamming his followers and pulling in money from all over the world and then using it for his own personal uses. Now the accusation is a huge thing for anyone out there, but if the accused happens to be super famous YouTuber like FGTV and the accuser is another counterpart, Inquisitor Master, the entire matter is something to be looked at seriously. The problem with this story is that no one can exactly tell for sure if there is merit to any side's claims or stories. The only way to actually find out if FGTV had been misusing money he was receiving as donations is by doing a forensic audit of his money, and as the technicality of this term suggests, it is not something you can do out of a whim. A big accusation like a donation fraud is no small matter. One could easily involve the authorities in this, and the whole quarrel seems to be justified. On the other hand, if Alex's accusation turns out to be fake, then the question still rises. Why would she have hatred against a fellow content creator? This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.